long time no see, huh? Um, my face is kind of red because I just got home from work not that long ago. And I actually work in a factory. Um, it's a refrigerated environment, we'll put it that way. So, uh, yeah, being in the, the cold all day and then coming home, uh, yeah, I get all flushed in the face and it just, it doesn't go away. It's like that all night. So, um, I'm probably going to put something in the title that pretty much tips you off as to what's happening here. The, the great plateau, um, in terms of this whole weight loss thing. So I don't, I don't really remember what I said in the last video. I don't remember what was going on at the time. So I did that thing where I was temporarily doing like a, a bit of a, a bulk leading up to this job that I'm now working. Um, I, I don't remember if I stopped my hormones for a minute or not, but I was, I was eating more and also lifting more. I was <laughs> doing a full body workout five days a week. Um, no, no splits whatsoever, like squats, bench press, whatever, all of it all in the same day, five days a week. So <laughs> it was a lot of lifting and I did a lot of eating as well. And, um, I didn't do it the proper way. Um, cause ideally what you would do when you're bulking, if you're doing it the smart way, um, is you would eat the same shit that you eat in a cut, but just more of it. Um, and I mean, maybe change it a little bit. Like if you're going super low fat on a cut, for example, add in some more fat or like super low carb, then just have some fucking carbs. Like, <laughs> you know, have some, have some pasta for once. Um, I didn't do it the smart way. Uh, I basically just relapsed on my old shitty eating habits that originally led to me being as heavy as 408 pounds at one point in my life as recorded at my doctor's office, like, three-ish years ago. Um, so I just went right back to that, um, because I clearly have a very unhealthy relationship with food. Um, and my weight went up drastically in that, like, week or two that I was doing that, um, because, of course, it would when I was eating so shittily. Um, but I've, I've cut it back down. Last time I weighed in, I was 213 point something, I don't remember. That would have been this morning, yesterday, yesterday afternoon. I don't, sometime, some, sometime very recently, um, but everything is just a blur. Um, it's Saturday, I wouldn't usually work today, but you see my shifts are 4.15pm to 2am, Monday through Friday. But we're doing Saturdays for a while, leading up to the peak season of the holidays, um, so yeah, uh, I'm, I'm pulling like 55 plus hours a week, I think. Um, in any case, yeah, it, <laughs> it's, it's a lot of work in a legit factory environment that is also, like I said, refrigerated. Um, it's hard <laughs> and it's making me a little, a little loopy. Um, so yeah, sorry if I'm, like, super disjointed, but, um, yeah, 213, which you may be noticing a pattern here. I've been floating around between, like, 210 to 215 for months, um, maybe even all a year, pretty much. Uh, there was, like, a period of a week when I first started progesterone that that shit made me so sick that I just wasn't able to eat because I was constantly excruciatingly bloated. So why would I want to fucking eat when I'm walking around feeling like my guts are a balloon stretched and possibly thin, ready to fucking explode at any second? So I was just, you know, every like several hours I would have a protein shake or something because I was like, I need to get some fucking protein at least. And the, the ones that I buy, I buy these little like pre-made ones. They're just fucking Walmart brand. And they have a bunch of like vitamins and minerals in them too. So like I'll get my protein, I'll get my vitamins and minerals. And like that's, I'm not going to be eating actual food because I feel so fucking sick and I'm in so much pain. So for that like week that I was first starting progesterone, I got down to like 205 or some shit. Like I was just dropping it hard 
because I wasn't fucking eating. <laughs> and of course, as soon as that, as soon as my body adjusted to the progesterone, it stopped making me sick after those first several days. Um, and so I went back to how I'd been eating and I went back to roughly 210 to 215 and I've just been floating around in there ever since, aside from that like couple of weeks around that temporary bulk thing that I did. So we're back down to the 210 to 215 window. And the, the conundrum I'm facing now is I want to get past that because I've had a, a goal in my mind of at least 180, if not a little lower, because if I hit 179, I can say that I've lost a full 200 pounds. And that would just be such a fun fucking thing to be able to say. So I kind of want to hit 179 or, you know, I don't see the point in going much lower than 170. I mean, we'll see what I say when I get there. But considering how fucking hard it is just to get under 215 and stay under 215. I got to be realistic here. I got to temper my expectations. I'm also carrying around a lot of loose skin, which means that like if I hit 180 and I haven't had any kind of loose skin surgery, then in reality, I'll probably be closer to like 175 and I just have like a few pounds of loose skin on my frame that I need to account for so I can't be going too low um for that reason for health reasons for mental health reasons uh I I really shouldn't get into the habit of chasing a downward number too much but at the same time like I'm clearly still carrying around more body weight than I necessarily need or want to and um it should be possible for me to get under the 215 to 210 window that I've been stuck in. Um, the thing is, I haven't been tracking. And I mean, with working six days a week, almost 10 hours each day in a fucking factory, I don't have a whole lot of energy. And I don't feel like I have a whole lot of time either. I need to streamline my shopping meal prep, etc., and start tracking again and make sure my tracking is accurate. And I need to figure out a way to do all of that as quickly and as easily and simply as possible because I have such a limited schedule to work with. I'm not going to sit here and say that it can't be done. It can. I know that. I just need to not be lazy about it, but I also need to, like, you know, they say play smarter, not harder. Um, I need to do that. I need to, I need to figure out all the, the tips and tricks and the shortcuts. And I need to do this, the, <laughs> the intelligent way, the thinking man's way. And that will be the only way that it can get done, to be honest. Um, cause otherwise I'm just, I'm really so fucking lazy. Let's be real. Um, if I don't some way, if I don't find some way to make it super easy, then I'm just not going to do it. And I'm just going to like, <laughs> you know, bitch about not losing weight when I'm like not actually putting in the work like a fucking asshole. So, um, yeah, that, that is what it is. I don't know that I had a whole lot else to say. Um, I've still been lifting, not as much. Um, my job is just so physical that a lot of the time it just feels like a fucking can't. Um, <laughs> Especially my grip, like making a fist with my left hand hurts right now. Like doing this motion, not very fun. I'm not, I'm not being like a super, I'm not being super expressive about it, but it hurts. <laughs> um, and it's been that way since I started this job. So I haven't been doing as much grip training, for example. Shit like that. It kind of sucks, but I'm starting to acclimate to it. Like my first two or so weeks I could not make a fist at all. I got about like right here and I was just like, I'd had, I would have to like cram my fingers closed with my other hand. So I'm getting there and then I'll have to pick up more lifting after that. Uh, my MMA training Saturday is the only day I can make it in my schedule. And now that my Saturdays are taken up as well, I haven't been training. Um, so that sucks. But um, I don't know that I had a whole lot else to update on. So um, that's where we're at. Let's see if we can break this fucking plateau. Everybody <laughs> cross your fucking fingers. I don't know. I'll see you next time.